Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The Foxy Clouser is an extremely attractive looking saltwater fly that predatory fish species might mistake for a crab, a shrimp, or a bait fish. Its jiggy motion when retrieved also really helps to sell it. The Foxy Clouser begins with a robust size 2 saltwater hook. After getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise, load a bobbin with a spool of black unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking a few wraps rearward, snip off the excess tag. Wrap back up the hook shank and leave your thread a full eye length and a half back from the back edge of the hook eye. Pick up one of the dumbbell eyes and lay it diagonally on top of the hook shank at the location of your tying thread. Take a couple of cross wraps to roughly position the eyes, then more cross wraps to lock them down. Follow these with yoke wraps that go over the eyes then under the hook shank. Next, take flat wraps below the eyes but above the shank to pull all the previous wraps in tight. End with your thread behind the dumbbell eyes. Snip three or four strands of the copper flashaboo free from the hank and find their midpoint. Lay that midpoint against the near side of the hook behind the eyes and take thread wraps to secure it. Work the material up to on top of the hook shank and pull the forward pointing portion back to effectively double the number of strands. Take thread wraps rearward to channel the material down the top of the hook shank. Trim the strands off so they extend a full hook length past the back edge of the hook bend. Snip a half dozen or so strands of the pearl flashaboo free from the hank and place the snipped off ends on top of the shank behind the eyes. Take rearward wraps of tying thread down the hook shank, securing both the pearl and the copper flash as you go. Try to keep both materials on top of the shank all the way back to the start of the bend. Get hold of just the pearl flashaboo and make wraps with it behind your tying thread up to the eyes. There, secure it with tight thread wraps and snip the excess off close. Relocate your tying thread to in front of the eyes, then pick up your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. Thread your bobbin with the fire orange unit thread and get it started on the hook shank in front of the dumbbell eyes, snipping the excess off close. Make sure your thread is wrapped well back into the dumbbell eyes. Flip the fly over so the underside of the hook faces up. Tease up a square half inch of the light tan craft fur and snip it free from the backing. Pull out the lower shorter fibers leaving a somewhat sparse and natural looking clump of fur. Measure so the tips of the fur are the same length as the copper flashaboo, then reach in with your tying scissors and snip the excess butt ends off square. Push the ends down onto the hook shank and take thread wraps perpendicular to them. The idea is to get them firmly anchored, but also to create a smooth transition down to the hook shank. Keep taking thread wraps to enhance the smooth transition and create a nice neat head on the fly in the process. Flip the fly back to its normal orientation and continue taking wraps to build up a tapered head on the fly. When you're satisfied with the look, pick up your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn back to front whip finish Seat the knot well and snip your tying thread free. A drop of head cement, or here Sally Hansen hard as nails, applied to the exposed thread wraps will ensure they don't come unraveled and that the craft fur can't pull free. Clouser style flies like this one orient with the hook point up while they're retrieved and move with an all but irresistible jiggy motion.